Howdy ho there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're going to be doing a rear brake job on a 2001 Ford F-150 pickup truck. So bring the camera on down here, I'm going to show you the parts we're going to use and some of the tools. Today we will be using some of DAPA brands Adaptive One brake pads. This is a very good brake pad in the aftermarket world. Comes with some lubricant, comes with uh, some hardware, and of course the brake pads as well. Let's slide these out of the way right quick. <clears throat> now we don't have rotors for this vehicle because we got a feeling that we're going to be able to machine them. Uh, if you are going to machine your own rotors, you need to have a brake spec book or access to one where you can look up your brake spec and at least a veneer caliper or a zero to one mic to where you can mic them. Okay, so we have that today. <clears throat> Some other tools that you, you will need is either an impact wrench and a 21 millimeter socket to take the lug nuts off. If you don't have air tools, you can use yourself maybe a breaker bar, a couple different ratchets. And of course we have an air ratchet here with a 10 millimeter swivel socket that we will be using. If you don't have that, maybe you at least have a 10 millimeter gear wrench that you can pull the caliper off with. Over here we have a C-clamp, we have or a big pair of channel locks for squeezing back the caliper. You'll probably need a three or four pound hammer for knocking the rotor off. Um, we're gonna use a 90 degree die grinder for taking the rust off of the um, face of the rotor on the inside and out before we put it on the brake lathe. And it's always good to have a wire brush for cleaning up your calipers. We have some anti-seize lubricant here today, some 3M silicone paste if we need it, a couple cans of brake clean. All right, friends, let's get started. Okay, friends, as always, we jack up the vehicle here in the shop with the floor jack, and we want to make sure we put jack stands underneath the vehicle. And just for an extra safety precaution, I will put the jack back underneath the uh, differential just for extra security. Okay, folks, first thing we're going to do is take out these two 10 millimeter headed caliper bolts with our 3 8 air ratchet and 10 millimeter socket. Okay friends, one more tool I forgot to add. You may need like a uh, straight blade screwdriver, kind of a larger one, to kind of reach in here and just kind of pry your piston back just a little bit. That's going to help it to where you can slide your caliper right off. We laid our caliper right up on top here on the um, uh, leaf spring because we don't definitely don't want to leave it hanging and put a lot of stress on your brake hose. Okay friends, one more thing I forgot to mention. You might need a can of penetrating oil to get these floating rotors off of here. And just go ahead and put a little bit around the threads and the hub and let that set a little bit. After a few minutes of soaking, grab your three pound hammer, smack that rotor, it should pop right off. Okay, back over here at the workbench, I went ahead and looked up the spec for these uh, rear rotors on this Ford truck. And our spec is 472,000, so I'm going to take our veneer caliper and I'm going to mic this rotor right quick and see where we're at. And it looks like we have about 545,000, so we have plenty of material to machine. Okay, folks, before I put this up on the lathe, I want to take all this rust off of this hub surface inside and out. And to do that, I'm going to use my 90 degree die grinder. Let's get started. Now we're going to go ahead and machine our rotor here. Now folks, I know most of you are not going to have a brake lathe of your own in your garage like I do. But if you do, um, you can refer to my other video on how to use this brake lathe. And we'll put the link for that down below. Okay friends, it's time to go ahead and clean up uh, our hardware here. We're actually going to, our new pad kit come with some new stainless steel pieces here. So we're going to pop these old ones off. And then we will take our wire brush and clean up this caliper bracket a little bit before we install the new stainless steel pieces. Okay, now we've got our new stainless steel slider popped in place and we'll go ahead and install our upper one as well. Sometimes these go on easy, sometimes you might need a little hammer just to tap them on. Now it's time to remove the old pads. If you'll take you a pair of needle nose pliers and just bend that old clip out a little bit on both sides, you'll be able to slide that outer pad right out. Now for the inside pad here, we're gonna leave that in place while we squeeze the caliper back. And now you can use either a C-clamp or I'm just gonna use the big pair of channel locks and we're gonna go ahead and squeeze this piston on back. 
Now with the piston back, you should be able to just pop the inner pad right out. Okay, friends, it's always a great idea to go ahead and take your caliper slide pins out and you can just push them right on out and remove them. And then we will take a little bit of this uh, 3M brand silicone paste and we'll brush a little bit up inside that rubber boot there and a little bit on the pins and we'll reinstall. Okay, friends, we're going to use a little bit of silicone uh, ceramic no, I'm sorry, ceramic grease, brake grease. They come with the uh, adaptive one pads. We're just going to put a thin coat on our stainless hardware before we put this back together. Okay, friends, on this style of Ford rear brakes, there is a left side and a right side pad, so we want to come back over here to the bench and match it up. Here's our inner pad. Let's go ahead and match it up. You'll notice that there's two notches on this side, one notch on this side. So here's the pad that matches that. So we want to take that over to the car with us. Here's our outer pad and it matches up with this one here. So we'll take these two over to the car and get this side reassembled. Okay, time to put the rotor back in place. We've already machined this rotor and it only took one cut. We took about three thousandths off, off of each side. So these actually might be good for another cut one day down the, one day down the road. Um, we did wash our rotor with soap and water and blew it dry with compressed air to make sure we had all of the um, demagnetized the rotor and had all the little metal dust off of the rotor okay folks time to install our brake pads we're going to take a little bit of this uh, permatex anti-seize here we're going to install our inner pad first and we're just going to dab a little bit right here around where the uh, piston touches the uh, brake pad on the inner one and we'll go ahead and snap it in place just like so and then we will also take just a little bit and put it just squeeze them just under the spring tab there on the outer pad and we will snap it in place as well sometimes these can be a little tricky right now we'll just wipe off a little bit of this excess uh, anti-seize that squeezed out where it don't end up on our brake rotor and we're ready to reinstall this caliper. Notice that up here on the pads that we were looking at earlier it has like two notches. So this has to actually lock up around this upper part of the caliper bracket and then the bottom part will slide in. So stick this in first. You may have to pull your caliper slider pin back just a little bit until it falls into place. And you may have to reach around here on the back side and do the same thing with the bottom, but actually it looks like it already fell in place. So now we'll Put our bolts back in now we'll take our two 10, 10 millimeter headed bolts and we will start them by hand okay now if those tighten up the air ratchet i'm just going to go back across them with a wrench and just kind of snug them up a little bit you can use a torque wrench on this if you want to um, it's probably better that you do probably the spec on this is anywhere from about 18 to 20 foot pounds on those little small bolts friends we want to thank you for watching this video today on doing the rear brakes on this ford f-150 uh, we will put a link down below to the video on um, how to machine rotors and we'll also put some links down below for some tools that uh, you may need that we used in um, this video today don't forget to subscribe, leave us a couple comments, tell a few friends about us. We'll see you next time. Take care.